After a child is born, it is the desire of every parent that this child should grow and mature to become an adult. For that to happen, it's down to how the parent manages these two levels of relationships. The first level is called entry into childhood and the second level is exit from childhood. Now before I continue, my name is Martin and I'm introducing to you the Sharp Parenting course that will be available on Udemy and Google Classroom. During this course, you will get to appreciate the emotional, mental and spiritual tools you are endowed with to facilitate your relations and engagement with the child during the entry into childhood and exit from childhood levels so that you guarantee a proper foundation for the child to grow to become a responsible adult man or woman. So let's go back to our video. Now, the first level of relationship is entry into childhood. Definitely this begins, let me say, after conception. What happens is, from conception to the time the child is born and definitely consequently more years the child is a, a human being completely yes, but they are dependent on the parent they're dependent on the adult they have emotional mental and spiritual needs and physical needs but they cannot go about sourcing for any other place to get their needs met except the parent so if the parent is conscious of their role and they acknowledge and they make efforts to meet these needs three major needs every child wants or looks forward to having them met is one the need to feel heard the child has a voice and the parent will do well if they, they demonstrate that they value the, the voice of this child the voice is basically the ability to express uh, their thoughts, their feelings, and their um, imaginations on every aspect. You'll be sure that children have imaginations on every aspect of life. It may not be what we want, but they have it. So if as a parent, you are going to help the child feel hard, express their voice, you you'll have done good the need to feel hard the child also needs to feel or feel seen or rather feel seen the need to feel seen is you attending to the child giving the child attention children are naturally attention seekers and it is a flaw from uh, that need they need to to feel seen so if as a parent you can you're conscious of that you'll demonstrate how important your child is you'll always want to know where where he is or where she is you follow them where they are when they come to you you stop whatever you're doing and you listen to them well I've been struggling on that one but thankful I'm conscious so even when I'm absent minded I will quickly go back and like correct my mistake then the third need is the need to feel understood you don't need to agree with what the child thinks feels but understand them let them feel understood that affirms them for who they are that affirms their uniqueness and their difference okay so if as a parent you will do well during the entry into childhood phase or stage you're good the second level i will address it in the next video.